The Mutt Lang Super Snare and the little thing behind it that gives it so much big punch. Next on Music Surgery with Dr. Bob. aren't little after all they all add up even though they're small we recommend you don't deny them get off your ass and try them they're bigger than you think the little things like so many techniques in music it's the little things like this that add up along the way to make a big difference so, we've all heard this mutt sound before. Sumner, you freaking idiot. A mutt barking, how cute. Could you please play the correct mutt sound for our friends? Now, let's dissect this sound and the illusion behind the snare that gives it so much weight. All right, here we are, the Mutt Lang Super Snare. So I've got several snares here that I've combined to make one kind of big Def Leppard hysteria super snare, which arguably is the biggest snare of all time and probably much biggest snare. So let's listen to the first snare. This is kind of a choky snare, which I've done the 100 hertz and white noise trick to. I've got several Mutt Lang snare trick videos. Go back and watch these if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about. Okay, the second snare I've combined. is just a normal tuned down snare. And I've also got some reverb on it. On this particular sample, I just printed the reverb. It's a small room, short room. You've got a million plugins that have this type of reverb. The third snare. Another throaty snare with reverb, but I've added a low Simmons tom. Um, that's also in one of the Mutt Lang snare videos. So go back and look at that. But basically, it's a snare drum with a Simmons tom underneath and they're both detuned quite a bit to get that low kind of all three of these snares together you can hear this one up here you can hear that white noise and that top end coming through to really give it the snap now I've added a kick drum and a hi-hat here so you can hear the groove in something like this Also, what I've done on beat four, I've added another Simmons Tom with reverb. Now for the secret sauce for the illusion behind the snare that gives it even more impact and punch. These are stereo claps. That are just simply played along with the snare drum. Let's listen to this groove before the claps. Now with the claps. Awesome. Weight, impact, and if you don't hear that they're claps, it almost sounds like another bit of like EQ'd reverb. Almost like a small nonlinear verb. Pop, pop.
Lots of punch, lots of impact. This is definitely a hysteria, mutlang type, Def Leppard era snare sound. And this is a big halftime groove. Well, not halftime, but slow 4-4 four, four groove. One, two, three, four. So there's lots of room to hear that clap and hear those big snare drum hits. Modern day, this could be used still in rock, could be used in modern country, big time, like Florida Georgia Line, all that stuff. All of these mutlang techniques you can still use in all of this kind of music today. But let me give you another example. Besides this slow, big, anthemic groove where you can still use the clap to your advantage. Okay, this is a song at a faster tempo. I'm using the same claps as the last clip I showed. And these are stereo claps. The thing about these claps is I like the fact that they accentuate the outsides, the left and the right panned. It makes the snare image come out more. I don't need a lot of the middle section accentuated. It makes it almost sound like a reverb, a small, snappy, kind of distorty reverb with stereo claps. So if you have a clap that you want to do this, make sure it's a stereo clap, like a bunch of claps together that you can hear the pan left and right, or use the best mono clap you have, put it through a stereo reverb, and render that and use that. But anyway, here's an example of a much quicker song, kind of a modern country type, and let me show you the before and after. Now the clap's on. So you can tell, it doesn't really sound like a clap behind all of that. It just sounds like it's giving more impact and there's more of a stereo image of some kind of reverb going on. Let me mute all these, play it again, and then unmute them. So, as you can tell, you can't really tell it's a clap, but it's doing something to the snare at the slow tempo of the last clip I showed, or even an up tempo like this, that helps poke the snare through a dense mix, or makes it sound huge in a big stadium kind of type way. It's just one of those secret little things. You can't always tell what it is, but it makes a big difference. Try these types of stereo claps at different tempos to give your snare the illusion of more impact and space. And make some magic of your own. I've just received this text from Mutt Lang. Let me read it to you. Dear Dr. Bob, even though your channel sucks, I hope people will subscribe and ring the bell so I can continue to watch this lame Love Mutt. A big thanks to everyone that watches the channel, and I love reading all the comments, even the ones from a few huge jerks. Stay tuned for more videos, and we're about to roll out the Doctor's Lounge. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you the next time the Doctor's in.